Hey everyone, so Elliot Glynn's asked me recently if he needs to set up two Shopify stores in order to serve two different audiences in different countries. So the question in more detail is he wants to do a t-shirt dropshipping store using Shopify, one that serves a UK audience and one that serves an American audience, and he wants to know if he needs to set up one store for the UK audience which has UK suppliers to send his t-shirts to his UK customers, and one store for the American audience that has an American supplier to do that. The reason he's asking is because quite rightly he's um, identified that the advantages of having a local supplier, so having a UK t-shirt printer um, for a UK audience means that delivery time is going to be cut down and also you're going to avoid uh, import charges from importing that t-shirt from a different country. Um, so I had a problem in the past with my t-shirt store. I was sending t-shirts to UK customers from by from an American print of uh, supplier. So I was using Printful to print those shirts in America and send them to the UK. It was taking two to three weeks to arrive in the UK and also when it landed on the customer's doorstep, they were getting a customs charge added onto that. It could be an additional 10, 12 pounds just to have the, uh, the mail service release that product to them so they can have their t-shirt. So having a local, um, a local manufacturer, a local dropshipping supplier, is really important you know you're going to avoid those long delivery times which could turn away potential customers and you're going to avoid the customs charges uh, so the two store solution I think that's definitely the right thing to do Elliot I've done a bit of research um, and also just from my own experience as well as like having the shorter delivery times and the sh uh, avoiding import charges with Shopify you can only show prices uh, for your products in that store's local currency and you can only set one currency per store. So if you make an American store and you set the currency to US dollars, any British visitors that are gonna be visiting your store are gonna see those prices in US dollars. And um, I spoke about this in an earlier video, but research shows when customers are seeing their products, see products on the internet in a currency different to their local currency, it's really off-putting. It's a massive conversion killer. You could be losing a lot of customers. So having a Shopify store set up in that customer's local currency and sending customers from that country to that store is a really good idea, like the way I'd recommend going about it. So what I think is best to do is to set up two stores. You're, you're gonna have to pay twice as much, so you're gonna have two $29 monthly charges from Shopify rather than one. Um, but you will avoid long delivery times, conversions being killed by seeing uh, cut currencies in a different currency rather than your local currency and you're going to avoid import charges for your customers. So the way I do this, I've read an article from Shopify and this is the way they recommend doing it if you want to make the step from having a single store to going international, is you buy the two stores, you can basically have exactly the same content on both stores but just change the um, dropshipping suppliers that are connected to the back of that store. So for the UK, you could use Ink Threadable to send your t-shirts in two to three days. And in America, you could use Printful to send the t-shirts in two to three days rather than two to three weeks. Um, you'd have one URL and you'd send your audiences to that URL. So you'd have Facebook ads going to the UK audience, sending them to the URL and the American audience go to the same URL. When you land on that page, on your store page, that one URL you're sending people to, the store will have technology like in the back end, you'll install a plugin to pick up on your customer's location. So if you're sending uh, someone from the UK, so this URL, your store name, they'll land on that site and a pop-up will pop up that says, hey, we've noticed you're in the UK, do you want to see the UK store rather than the US store? So imagine the US store is the default store that shows on that URL. If you're finding people who are coming from the UK, you just say, hi, would you like to switch stores to the UK? They click yes, then they're going to get their product drop shipped from a local provider, gonna get the um, currency shown in their local currency and they're gonna avoid slow delivery times and um, customs charges for importing that product from a different country. So definitely go about it that way. I'll send you a link to the Shopify blog post that I read that gave me all this information on how to like implement the solution and also links you to the plugins and stuff to detect what country a uh, customer's coming from. I'll link you to Shopify for anyone that's not got Shopify yet, but they want to set up their own online store. It's a 14 day free trial if you use the link below, so I'll send you that. And also I'll pop the links to Printful and uh, Ink Threadable, the American and the UK t-shirt suppliers. So you can connect that to your Shopify store and get sending t-shirts out to your customers. So thanks for the question, Elliot. Really appreciate it. Anyone else has got any uh, comments about this uh, solution that I've offered, if you'd go about it a different way or you've got experience about setting up an international store, 
make sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to send any additional questions you have because I answer these questions every day on my channel, Start Starting Up, where I'm exploring online business ideas, sharing my successes, my failures, so you can copy what I'm doing, copy that goes well, not copy uh, the mistakes and avoid those mistakes. And also, make sure to subscribe to my weekly, so my bi-weekly newsletter. It comes out every two weeks where I share like useful articles and useful videos that I've watched in the world of online business, e-commerce, dropshipping, I will give you some links to some useful resources that I use, useful tools so I, that I use when I try to make money. And I also share my product updates and also my progress updates so you can see how I'm doing. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to leave some comments and send your additional questions in the comments box below. And I'll see you soon.